Alright guys, what is going on? So today we're going to be setting up Streamlabs OBS for uh, console streamers that are using an Elgato uh, like I do. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our, um, we're going to use a theme. So we're not going to add anything yet. We're going to go, we're going to click on this button right here that says themes. Um, you don't have to do this. This is optional, but it does add a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Uh, it adds, I don't know how to say it, personalization to your stream. So it's not as bland and boring. So we're going to go ahead, we can go through here, we can click on the different colors. So if your channel colors are purple, maybe, or if your channel colors are whatever color you want, you can go through here and click on it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use, um, my channel's red, but uh, let's just go blue. Use a blue package. Uh, we can go through any of these. I'm just gonna do. You can scroll through here. They've got tons of them. They've got whatever. We're just gonna use this one. This one's white. It's basic. Okay. So once you find the one that you want, your um, theme, you're gonna go ahead and click Install Overlay. Click Install Overlay, and then okay, adding a fresh scene collection in your editor. And so it's gonna take you to here. So this is basically. Um, yeah, this is, uh, it says welcome right here. Some may have this, others may not. So we're just going to hit, if it says welcome, usually it'll have something like, it says delete, so we're going to remove that. Okay, so this is your stream starting one. Uh, you can go through here, we'll go through that in a second. But we're going to go ahead and go to end game. So this is what your whole audience is going to see while you're streaming. So we're going to go through here and pick, figure out which one we want. So I'm going to go with the longer one that has this stuff at the bottom. You don't have to. You can go with this one, this one, or this one. Um, actually, I'm going to go with this one right here. So we're going to hit, we're going to click on whichever one we don't want. So I don't want this one. We're going to hit remove and hit OK. Remember, I want this one. Oh. We're going to click on this one. I don't want this one. OK. Click on this one. Don't want that one. OK. And then we can go through whichever ones we want. So we can go through this one or this one. I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit smaller. So click on this. Remove. Okay. And then here's the bottom thing with this. Uh, also, you don't have to have, but I'm going to use a smaller one because I think it's a little bit cleaner. That. Remove. Okay. So now we have all this. So now that we can play around with it and move it. So I'm just going to put it right there. And take the take the little notification box and we're gonna put it right underneath it so now your latest follower you have will pop up at the bottom and your newest uh, tip and your new tip top tip I mean excuse me so now that we have all this set up we're gonna go ahead and click on this uh, I'm actually gonna lock this so they don't move uh, like on accident so we're gonna go ahead and click this uh, plus button right here we're gonna go to uh, this is if you have webcam obviously if you don't have a webcam you can get rid of the box and stuff we're going to click a video capture device. It's going to go built-in webcam, watch tech webcam, or capture cards such as Elgato. It'll even pop it up right here for you. We're going to hit add source. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine uh, webcam. And then the webcam should pop up. Hello. Okay, this is actually kind of a face reveal too, so it's fun. Um, so yeah. Uh, there's a drop down menu here, so if you want to use your uh, Elgato game capture, which we will do in a second, so don't worry about that. We're just going to click done. It's going to add the webcam right here. And then this is the kind of tricky part is we have to size it to where it fits into here. So you're going to hold down alt on your keyboard and get on here with your mouse. And then you can shape it to whatever size you want. This is kind of the tricky part because you got it sized like just perfectly where you don't have too much and like, yeah. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in a second after I have this resized. Okay, so we're back. I had just resized the webcam to fit into here. Um, I don't know. I've got a lot of the boom arm showing. Um, I don't know why. So, now we're going to go ahead and lock the webcam so we don't accidentally resize it. We're going to take the webcam and we're going to drop it right behind uh, this. See how it says webcam right here? We're going to drop it right behind there. So, now the bar will get on front of it. The bar. The theme will actually go on top of it, so the webcam's not sitting on top of it, of it and blocking it. I'm actually going to lock it real quick, make it just a little bit bigger. Oh, that's not it. Wrong one. Okay, this is... No. 
thing. That's not where it says it. Whatever, it looks better, I think. Okay, so now we're gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. Every time you finish something, make sure you go ahead and lock it. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new source. We're gonna do video de capture device again, and this is where we're gonna add our Elgato. So we're gonna hit add source, and then we're gonna hit add new source, because if you hit, hit add existing source, you're just gonna add another webcam. So we're gonna hit add new source. Hit the drop down menu, we're gonna hit game capture. Make sure you have your Elgato already hooked up. And then we're gonna hit um, done. That should pop up in a second. There it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and drag this all the way to the bottom so it goes behind everything. It should already be in the corner. You just gotta grab this corner and drag it down. And it should lock just like that. Okay, so now we're not getting any audio from the Elgato, so we're gonna have to go to video capture device, the Elgato. We're gonna hit properties. It's gonna drag us down here, and we're gonna go down to audio output. And we're gonna hit, <coughs> excuse me, output desktop audio. We're gonna hit done. Make sure you have a, um, I think it's called a chat link. It looks like this. You have to hook it up to your controller. It has a splitter. Make sure you have that hooked up or you will not get any audio. Just give it a sec and it should pop up. Oh yeah, so I just forgot to add this. Well, we're gonna, after you if, uh, hit direct sound output to audio, we're gonna hit configure video. And the Elgato should pop up here. Make sure this is set to PlayStation. Mine originally was set to Xbox One. And then make sure you hit with analog audio. Give it a second to load. It should say no signal. Give it a sec. And then now we have audio in the back. So sorry about that. I forgot that. Uh, I forgot to do that. And then here we can slide it up or down, whatever one you want. I'm just going to turn it off because it's uh, very loud. Okay, so what else should we do? Oh, I think my output's actually set to yeah, it was, yeah. That's one of the reasons why um, I'm still hearing the audio, even though it's muted. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and lock that again. So now the next thing to add would be you can add a audio um, input. So it should show it right here. Um, you already have one set up. It just depends if you want to. How do you, if you want it to say Yeti on here instead of mic slash aux, you can do that. I'm not going to do that because I think it's just kind of pointless. Um, so you guys have all this stuff to do. You can add your text or whatever. Uh, next thing we're going to do is, um, oop, I didn't mean to do that. We're actually going to add a alert box into it. So we're going to go back up to themes and we're let it load. We're going to hit, um, click on widget themes. And then now we have a bunch of widgets. Um, this is basically alerts, and in, in a I guess you could say it's basically just alerts. So um, again, you can click uh, whichever color you're doing. So I guess we're doing white for this one. Um, so I'm just gonna click. Let's just do the this one. Um, that's what it's gonna look like. Some of them will look different when you get onto here. But we're gonna click widgets right here in the corner because I won't let you install it, and then just hit select all and then install. Okay, so na down here it should say widget theme installed and activated. Um, to make sure it works, we're going to hit w test widgets, and then you can click on whichever one of these you want. So this is what it's going to look like when it's working, I guess. Um, to size it, so like, I think that's a pretty good size, but if you want it, you know, I mean, you could make it this big if you would like to. I mean, you can do whatever size you want. Um, that's obviously way too big. It takes up 90% of the screen. You can make it whatever size you want. You can put it wherever you want it. So I'm just going to put it right here because I like my stuff clean and simple. So I'm going to click that there. So every time somebody follows, Dark Trip's now following. It's my name. Uh, subscribed. Obviously, it's getting kind of annoying because of the sound, but you get the point. Okay, so let's see what else we have. I believe that's it. Um, honestly, I mean, oh crap, yeah. Okay, so one thing that's going to be is your audio is going to be off sync from your game. I mean, your game, your game. So see how like I'm talking right now. It has a little bit of a delay. So to fix that, we're gonna go to mixer, click right here, 
and then this is all of your stuff but this is offset sync offset um game captures usually will vary from like this is in milliseconds so it your game capture to your like webcam audio offset will vary from like 500 to a whole second I don't know why this is popping up um, so on my other one that I have set up already, it's about five, seven, uh, 575 milliseconds of offset. So I just do desktop audio and mic and then webcam. Uh, we gotta go through that. So just do five, seven, five. Um, this takes a little bit of testing. So go through and figure out which one is right for you. This is just what I'm putting cause it was on my other one, but for you it may be a thousand milliseconds, uh, 800 milliseconds. Just go through and do a little bit of testing. Took me about five minutes to figure out which one uh, works for me. And for me, it's 575. Um, you don't have to save it or anything. It automatically saves, so just click the X. And now we're going to go to webcam. We're going to left click, go to filters. Click this plus sign right here. Uh, click this drop down. Scroll down to video delay. Hit OK. And then now we have the milliseconds, so just type in whatever you guys chose, I guess. For me, I'm going to put 575. Hit done. And now our... It's like I can show you guys. Oh, we just lost audio. But, so... Now it's perfectly on sync with each other. So, uh, go ahead and lock everything again. And I think that should be it. You guys can uh, mess around with this stuff. You know, you can view your viewer count. Basically, like, every time somebody watches you, this will go from, like, how many ever viewers you have. So it'll go to, like, 10 viewers or one viewer. It's like a live viewer count. Basically, you can put it on the screen wherever you want it. Um, but, yeah, that's it, guys. So um, to start streaming, just got to hit go live. And then before you start, go here, and you can change your name. Just click on it. Go down here, left click, hit properties, scroll down here to text, and you can add whatever you want to it. And then you can mess around with this stuff and this stuff. Um, so it's really that easy, guys. You don't have to do anything. Just hit go live, and then it'll just start recording your screen. You can go to in game. You just got to click it, and it'll automatically go to that intermission. You can mess with this, too. You can put your webcam right here, your game right there, or vice versa. Be right back. But yeah, guys, that's basically all you need to do to start streaming in Streamlabs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, uh, comment on what I could have done better, and subscribe if you're still watching. Um, my Twitch will be linked in the description if you would like to go say what's up, uh, maybe drop a follow if you would like. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, peace.